This has to be the most unique lens I've ever used on my Nikon Z system. And that's what we're gonna be looking at in this video. This is a 50mm 1.4 lens. I know, 50mm, very peculiar looking lens, but it has a twist. We're gonna get into that later on in the video. But we're gonna talk about the actual build quality of this lens. It is from the makers Astori, Astori, the Rockstar. Used to make lenses, remember that, Rockstar? This is who makes these. This was sent to me from China. I agreed to do a review on it. I wasn't paid for this video and I didn't actually pay it for the lens, so appreciate them sending out for me to test out. I have been looking for lenses with a lot of character in, and this kind of fit that build, so I was eager to kind of test it out. And I wasn't uh, let down at all by this lens. Now this is for my Z mount system. It does come in a lot of other lens mounts as well. All the links will be in the description below if you want to go and check those out. It's an all metal construction lens. It has a great metal screw cap. I'm quite enjoying these metal screw caps, actually. I do like them. Um, the lens itself feels quality made. It's nice and bright, wide, 1.4 aperture on this lens. Metal mount, like you say, there's no contacts on there, so it is all manual focus. But it's been great to use on the uh, Z system. And imagine on any other mirrorless camera as well, it'll be also great to use because it's kind of really easy to use manual focus and lenses on these mirrorless cameras. Something that I'm kind of really enjoying doing and looking forward to using more in the future. So like I said, all metal construction. It goes from F1.4 to F16. Um, you have your f-stop at the front there and the focus ring at the back nice and smooth nice and dampened now the unique twist to this lens is it actually does twist you can actually twist this lens which in effect twists shifts the focal plane in your image so you have the opportunity to create some very unique looks to your images as well the only thing i can kind of compare this to is maybe the lens baby lenses which they can do that same type of effect where you can get that kind of toy town blur. It's more than that though, um, but kind of comparison wise, the Lens Baby is probably the closest thing to this. But having said that, Lens Babies don't offer an aperture of 1.4. So within this lens, you're getting a 50 mil 1.4 lens, which works super, super well. Um, I took it out the other day with the kids. I'll show you some footage from that and I'll show you the results, the images from that. It is pleasantly sharp for this price point of a lens and a 1.4, if I could compare it to an older Nikon lens, it would probably be the 50mm 1.4D Nikon lens. Kind of has that kind of look and feel to it as well in terms of sharpness. Um, so I would compare it to that. But having that ability to create something completely unique um, with the tilt lens really intrigued me. Now it does take some getting used to using that because you're shifting the focal plane and as you twist that, the focal plane will twist from vertical to horizontal. So you can kind of manipulate how it's going to look in the image. It does take a bit of getting used to, but it's something I'm going to look forward to using in the future. And I do want to get it in the studio and try out some nice portrait shots using this as well, because I think it's going to create a nice unique look to the images. One that can't be really repeated, I don't think. So I'm eager to find that out. So I took it out the other day, we took it out to a local small zoo. I'll show you some footage from that and I'll show you the results as well. Now, using the camera in manual focus, um, quite easy, being able to zoom in, punch right in and just grab that focus with a slight little twist of the focus ring on the lens, makes life so much easier and you can see it all happening on the back of the screen, even better when you hold it up to your eye. But as you can see, this Meerkat shot here, I shot one at 1.4, which you see, nice little blur on the background. Pleasantly sharp, not super, super clinically sharp like the Z lenses. You're not going to get that apart from using the Z lenses. So if you expect that, that's not going to be the case with this lens at all. Um, so we continued round the zoo and I was just taking images through the glass. So be aware, these images are shot through a bit of a plexiglass, which was quite dirty and quite smudged. But I think overall the lens performed really, really well, um, especially in low light. I think this shot was shot at around 11,800 ISO. Lighting conditions were really poor, so that 1.4 aperture came in super, super well. 
um, even in the fish aquarium. I'm trying to take pictures through dirty glass as well. It doesn't really do this kind of justice, but I'll show you a picture of my son, which I shot close up to his eyes. You can kind of see how sharp and how nice it renders the out of focus areas as well in the image. And it does a really, really good job. And it's so easy to use. It's not a difficult lens to use. Um, and it's not difficult to get that focus in mirrorless cameras when you're shooting manual focus as well. Only thing I would say is that, yes, it is easy to use like that as a standard 1.450 mil lens. But when you start tilting it, you've got to kind of get your finger in the middle so you can turn the focus ring. It does take a bit of getting used to, but once you get used to it, it works a treat. And you can kind of see from these images the effects that that gives you. And I'm looking forward to really kind of testing that out. It's a super unique effect from these images. Yeah, when there was nobody in the frame, it's got that kind of look and feel of a really old vintage, vintage lens. Um, and something I'm really kind of looking forward to getting into using. Um, you can see, obviously, when I've shot my son here, you've got to be very precise with that focal plane to get the the focal plane right where you want it in focus. I just missed his eyes, it's more focus on his nose here. But you can kind of see that effect that it gives. And again, on this rabbit, I've shot one straight on at 50 mil. I think that was wide open at 1.4. And then I've changed the focal plane as well. And you can see it's kind of just, it just cuts through the image the focal plane gives you the sharp area and everything else side of it is blurred. Quite a nice, unique effect, something I'm really looking forward to using more. I think you can see from this shot, even shooting through the Perspex glass, quite dirty, quite blurry, like I said, but it is quite sharp, quite nice, and you can see on the monkey's face, it's rendered it lovely, background's rendered quite blurry as well. And on this shot of the kookaburra, you can see, obviously, it's rendered the image really nice. And it's also rendered the background quite nice as well. Um, so all in all, just a good all-around lens. Because you, not only do you have a standard 50mm and nifty 50 1.4 aperture, which is great for a walk-around lens, you always have that opportunity as well to create something completely unique as and when you feel. So looking forward to testing this out more. So that is the 50mm 1.4 from Astro. Hori, the Rockstar lens makers. All the links will be in the description below if you want to go and check this lens out. I'm going to head out again the day with the kids and I'm going to take this out and I'll be testing this out more. So I look forward to that. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel to see more reviews of lenses. And I will see you guys in the next one. See you then.